People come from all over the world to see the Mississippi River. There's just something about it, and I'm not sure what it is, but for some reason, you have to see it to believe it. I'd only actually seen the river about five times, but in 1980, I decided I wanted to see it all. So on June the 7th, I took off from Lake Itasca, Minnesota, and I finished up on November 29th in Venice, Louisiana. I shot thousands of slides along the way, and what follows is a selection of them. My brother Mike, who was 15 at the time, decided he would paddle with me to St. Paul. It was about 600 miles. The big river starts out as a little creek. Several people went with us the first week. From the left is me, and then Al Johnson, Mike Pattenberg, Andy Mikolacek, a good friend of mine, and my sister, Carla Pattenberg Moore. We hauled all the gear to where the river flows out of Lake Itasca, then I ceremoniously dipped the tail end of my canoe in the water. The Mississippi is tiny just below Lake Itasca. In some places here, I can actually reach out both arms and touch both sides. The first dams on the Mississippi are about 100 yards down from that first bridge. They were very sturdy. We couldn't hurt them. We walked all over them. One of the biggest challenges during that first week was finding enough water to float a canoe. But the campsites were incredible. And the fishing was fantastic. We had a shore lunch every noon and probably fish for dinner. Carla and Al left at uh, Lake Bemidji and then Mike and I continued on to St. Paul. We quickly fell into a routine for river traveling. We got up early and then ate breakfasts that any lumberjack would have appreciated. Then we hit the water early. Mike got really good at steering the canoe. It frequently rained, and if we were lucky, we could find a bridge to get underneath until the shower was over. Some of the portages were brutal. We'd have to work sometimes for several hours to get around a dam. We swam every day, but sometimes we needed to clean up a little better before we walked into town, so we got really good at bathing out of buckets. Mike left at St. Paul, and then I converted my canoe into a rowing rig, and that's how I would travel the remainder of the trip. I camped wherever I found a good spot or whenever I got tired. Whenever possible, I gave the big boats a lot of room. The scenery along the way was just spectacular in some instances. I met many wonderful people along the river. This is Matthew Ziegler of St. Genevieve, Missouri. He was a famous painter who took time to show me around his gallery. Gordon Cotton, the director of the Old Courthouse Museum in Vicksburg, became one of my closest friends. There was always something new to see. This is the morning after the worst night I ever spent camping. I had no place to stay except on the other side of a levee in Louisiana. It rained all night and I got really wet and cold. On November 29th, I ended up in Venice, Louisiana. Gordon Cotton came and picked me up and then I started my journey back north. Well, that's it for right now. I don't have any more space and I have thousands more slides. But if you ever had a chance to go on an adventure, go do it. This is Survival Common Sense. Thank you for watching.